What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Light Platinum. Today should be Tuesday, I think, and we're going to be fighting Kenta or Gold or whatever. And he's threatening that he's going to defeat us. However, I'm going to prevent that from happening by battling him and owning his Typhlosion and other assortment of Pokemons. Lucky Hucked Fat-Ass uh, Snorlax should be able to take care of this. I should have gone for a Belly Drum, but I guess not. Now we go for Strength. Let's see how much. It probably does more than half. No, never mind. Alright. I guess I'm gonna set up for a belly drum and then oh god he might just kill me actually unless he used quick attack or something which I uh, yep he did so now we went for the belly drum we can go for a hyper potion revive lucky hawk he's of course got double his attack which means we can take this thing out with a strength and we should be good cause he's probably oh no he uses flamethrower that might be very nope doesn't do quite that much damage so yeah I guess all of lucky hawk's uh, body heat and body mass just uh, kind of takes the hit. So anyway, I don't know. I, I'm basically recording this one right after the previous one, the one from yesterday probably. And hopefully, yeah, I don't know. I, I uploaded the one from yesterday kind of late just because I got home late. I mean, it's right now it's 6:30, and you know I'm pre-recording this one for tomorrow. But either way, whatever. I I don't know. I just kind of want to upload Light Platinum right now because I know that I haven't been recording any Ratchet and Clank or Black and White that much. So I guess it's better to give you guys something than nothing. That's my mentality at least. I don't know about you guys. A lot of you people out there just can't seem to be satisfied. Whenever I upload Ratchet and Clank, you hate on it. Uh, other people come and back it up and then I make me feel better. But then some more people come and hate on it for absolutely no reason. And honestly, I really don't care anymore. I'll just record whatever I want, honestly. And recently, like I said, I haven't feel felt like recording Ratchet and Clank, so I'm not gonna record it. So yeah, that's that's it. There's Ken to defeat it. Wow, great job. We get some money, and we continue on through the victory road. Once again, you surpassed me, but I'm going to train to beat the Elite Four. And now I actually gotta go upload the one that I just recorded. So be right back. And I have returned. Uh, except for you, that was probably just a split second. I just started uploading a video, and just so you guys have an idea of how long my videos take to upload, uh, the video is only 53 megabytes, and it says it'll take 13 to 14 minutes. It's a 2% right now. I literally just started uploading it. So, uh, I guess this will give you guys an idea of how long exactly my videos take to upload. Yeah, because I have terrible internet, and I... Apparently, I need to reinforce that to you guys. I don't know why. I know that you guys probably believe me, but I guess I'll reinforce it for absolutely no reason. You know what, Glory Hole? You can die, because I really don't care. Boogaloo- Oh, God. Screw you, man. Really. Just screw you. Let's go for Boogaloo now. Quick attack for the win. Gyarados again. Flying and water means you die to a Thunder Punch. Yep. Pretty much a lady on her Tentacruel. And a guy on his fat-ass Waylord, or Waylmer. The ocean is a perfect place to surf and train for the Elite Four. Yes, it is, sir. It's actually a very good place because this is a place where I can train my, um, my whatever guy that I couldn't train in the cave. Uh, Boogaloo, that's his name. Or her. No, it's, it's definitely a he. Uh, I like that all these guys actually have a Whalemer, too, because it wouldn't really make sense for them to be riding on a Whalemer, but then not use it for battle. And there goes Swimmer Tom, the Crystalisk, whatever you want to call him, Serdukov, uh, for Emperor. Yep. I'm teaching my Pokemon to surf. Why would you do that here? I have no idea. You're in the Victory Road, friend. I don't know why you would be teaching your Pokemon to surf in the Victory Road, but whatever. The video is now at 9%, and it actually bumped up from the 14 minutes that it previously said, and now it's at uh, 18 minutes remaining, so... Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be done pretty fast, because I don't want it to be uploaded before 7. It's already 6.33, but... Hopefully it's uploaded before 7. I kind of feel like SSO right now, where he he uploads like billions of videos a day, like he's uploading them while recording others. I don't know. That's what I felt like for a second there. And right here we gotta use Dive, which I unfortunately do not have uh, on any of my Pokemon. However, I really don't care about the Astonish on Glory Hole, so I will be teaching Glory Hole yet another um, water move. And I guess later on... I may just uh, delete it for a better move, but as for right now, I really don't care. And there's a Zeri underwater. Are there actually going to be trainers down here? Because, I don't know, this guy is pretty skilled at hacking games and such. So, I really wouldn't be surprised if there are actually uh, trainers down here. Also, the video just started processing for no reason. I don't know what YouTube videos do to process, but 
if they upload fast enough, like if you guys have a fast upload, they apparently process, like they upload all the way and then they start processing, but my videos actually process and upload simultaneously because they take so long to upload. So anyway, let's keep going around here, it's at 15%, so it's gonna take a, it's probably gonna be, it's probably gonna take longer to upload it than I'm, than before I'm done with this video, but anyway, there was a little ship over there, I kinda wanna check out what this is actually, cause I didn't really pay attention. Uh, apparently it's nothing though, we can't really talk to it, and I don't wanna, I wanna make sure that I didn't miss anything, no I didn't. Oh, there are actually Pokemon down here, and it is, uh... A lantern, it's actually pretty high level too. Oh jeez. Really? No, no, no. Wow. Thank you. You are really stupid. Thunder Punch is gonna be neutral effective because this thing is half electric type, of course, but there we go. No. You can dive up apparently. I did not realize that, but I'm instead gonna keep going through these waterfalls, caves, and underwater assortment of things. Actually I kinda wanna heal up my Pokemon because they're low on HP. Uh especially Japan, because Japan I really want her or him to evolve before the Elite Four. Also Lulu. Lulu has fallen behind on levels recently, so I kinda want Lulu to get some levels. Uh, Hyper Potion on all of you, and uh, I think there might not be that much left in the Victory Road. Also I just realized I said I was gonna revive Japan, and that was the only one that I didn't revive, but whatever, there's a Chin Chow there. Uh, another Wrecked Boat for some reason, and okay, nothing up there. Let's keep going. No, apparently we can't go up there either. Uh, I guess we just go up here. Yep. Ah, <sighs> and I realize this is a translated version, but for some reason this game isn't translated in this part at least. I have no idea why. Don't ask me because I really don't know. Also, fuck yeah, Sea King. I apologize for the cursing, but that's what it is, and that's what I'll call it. Fuck yeah, Sea King. There I go again. Whoops, use extreme speed. Uh, when I didn't mean to. Oh, Mandibuzz. I haven't seen that thing in a while. It is rock and electric type, which means this should still be super effective, which it was, and also a Starmie, so Thunderbolt, and you win. Goodbye, GTFO. That guy did not have a Whalmer, by the way. So, there we go. Let's see if there's any other trainers. No, just ten of ghouls. Any other trainers over here? Nope, there are actually none. So, oh no, there's one guy here. Jesus, tentacles, come on, stop being... I'm teaching your poke... People teaching their Pokemon to surf when they don't need to. So I guess we're... Jesus, come on! Oh my god, tentacles, Jesus, Batman. Again, with the same sign, saying exactly the same thing. And another rival battle, you've gotta be kidding me. Well, I see that you're right here at the last challenge of the Zeri League, the Elite Four, but I'll be your real test before you get there. Really? Another rival battle? Okay then, there's so many of these, and they just have two Pokemon. Really, what's the point of this? I should have gone for Japan. Maybe I would have finally gone her to level something or other, but I guess uh, he's going to go for his Fire Spin on Lilu, which is probably going to kill her, but not really, because Lilu is trapped in a Vortex, and I poison her, and I probably can't switch out because I'm trapped. Yep, that's gay. Uh, let's go for a Quick Attack, and Lilu dies. Glory Hole, get the revenge on her with your three water attacks. Let's see, I've got so many to choose from. Which one shall I pick? Shall I pick Dive, Waterfall, or Surf? Let's go for a Waterfall, why not? Dive kind of sucks because it's a two-turn move, and two-turn moves I have never really been a huge fan of. Fortunately for us, if this doesn't kill it, which it probably will, Toxic will definitely finish it off, which it's going to, apparently. Yep. If I would have gone for a Surf, I probably would have killed it without the need for Toxic, but I didn't kill it, and the Toxic was there to finish it off. So that's all good and dandy. This guy, of course, has a Lucario of his own because he can't be original enough to have his own Pokemon, so of course we gotta go for Kingston the Charizard. Uh, I just realized he has two of the same Pokemon that we have, actually. He's got Lucario and Charizard, but of course, both of my Pokemon are superior because of Type Advantage, who, which apparently these trainers don't ever take advantage of, and I don't know if he's actually planning of taking on the Elite Four with two Pokemon, which, that's why maybe they're so high level, but I'm gonna guess they're just high level for no reason, and by the way, that Lucario just made a coughing sound effect, and by that I mean like the Pokemon coughing, not literally coughing, like cough cough, I may have lost to you, but I'm still beat the Elite Four at any cost, 
or I'll still be sorry I was about to say some grammar errors there but that was just me failing anyway that was the final trainer I'm pretty sure before the Elite Four yep here's the Ch Zeri championship there's also trainers outside with their Poochienas. I don't know why you would beat the Elite Four with a Poochiena, but I'll leave that up to you. If you want to go ahead and die, pretty much, that's up to you. I fought the Elite Four many times, but they always win. Oh no. Whatever shall you do? I'm the Elite Four building, and there are many places to heal your Pokemon. Cool beans. My Shinx and I were training, but we decided to nap for a while. The Elite Four are very difficult. I will take your word for that. Today I'll fulfill my dream of fighting the Elite Four with her Patsulitsu. Patsulitsu! Pak 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 Man. Alright, so here we are. We finally made it to the Elite Four. The Zeri Elite Four, the last boundary between trainer and champion. This is the Zeri Championship. Let's go. What the hell are these things? What the heck? There's like people in grass. Oh, it's all the Zeri gym leaders. Okay. Well, that's... That's cool. Leader Jessica of In Whore City. She was quite the whore. Esmeralda of Esmeralda City. Lucas of Seanport. Cool guy. Thomas of Darda City. Thomas Surd, of course. The ghost type guy. Tom Surd up for Emperor. Atlas of Gromit City. Pretty cool guy. Rainer of Serenity City. He was quite shocking. Sophia of Snow City. And of course, Wesley. The creator of the hack made himself a gym leader, because he's a cool guy. Uh, there we go, Dragon Trainer from Drake Breath City. No trainer here can beat me. Okay then, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna uh, judge you on that, but I'm pretty sure I would be able to defeat you with ease. So, let's go ahead and heal our Pokemon. I don't think I really ever heal on screen, but adjust my microphone, which will make some noise for you guys. And there we go. Healed up our Pokemon. I may just have to do some off-screen training. I might just get all my Pokemon to level 50. And for this game, I am actually not going to use Rare Candies because I think it would actually be harder to hack in Rare Candies rather than to just actually train. So, yeah, if you want to take that as a reason, obviously, then go ahead and take it because, yeah, my reason is pretty much uh, Rare Candies are too difficult to hack in, so I'll actually do training. If it wasn't for that, then I definitely would just hack everything in because I'm a lazy ass, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a soft sand there, elixir. I I think all my Pokemon already have items. Um, never mind, they do not all have items. Lilu doesn't have one. What item do you have? Where does it even? Oh, a hard stone. What does that even do? Let's take it. What does a hard stone even do? Raises the power of rock type moves. You know what? I would rather have your uh, earthquake be supercharged, so let's give you that. And uh, derpity derp, let's check out our TMs here. Huh. I don't seem to have any very useful moves here. Maybe I could buy some cool ones. Shadow Ball, can anyone learn that? Lucky Hawk, and so can Lilu. I guess we'll give it to Lilu, because Lilu has not very good attacks. Actually, Lilu has pretty good attacks. Do I have any fighting type moves? No, I don't. Um, Dragon Claw, maybe? Yes, Kingston can learn it. Uh, unfortunately, Kingston has Lava Surf, which is an HM, and I can't forget that. So, yeah, if I want to actually remove any moves off screen, I will definitely do that. Uh, but as for now, I guess this is it. Next episode, we'll start off the Elite Four, which will probably be uh, Thursday or next week. I don't know as of right now, but. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Actually, let me just talk to these guys real quick. Hello, Orange. I'd like to thank you for everything you did to help the Pokemon Society. We are very grateful to you, and I hope I'll see you at the next Pokemon World Championships. I'm only here for a battle. Get ready. Oh, God! Really? Alright, well, you only have two Pokemon, so I guess I'm going to super speed this up and go for... Oh, Boogaloo's already level 50. Nice. So I guess I'm going to stick with... Uh... Oh, God. Lilu, really? Come on. Alright then, I guess I'm going to have to do a lot more training than just level 50. Um, I don't know what his next Pokemon is, but... Oh, Metagross, I think I can kill that. Never mind, Earthquake. Oh, critical hit. Okay then. You must be really strong to beat me so easily. Wow, that was a perfect battle, Orange. You're a great trainer. I'll be waiting at the championships. Bye, friend. Alakazam, teleport! Now, really, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.